Hello and welcome to the Southeast Texas Weather Briefing from the Houston Galveston National Weather Service Office concerning the potential for winter weather across the region on Tuesday, January 28, 2014. We start with a look at our current weather here on Sunday afternoon. This is the noontime surface weather chart for the United States. The Arctic front, which will bring our cold air responsible for this event, is currently moving through Nebraska while a prefrontal trough across Oklahoma will bring north winds to the region early Monday morning. The actual front will arrive just after daybreak around College Station, move into the Houston metro area around midday, and then off the coast by mid to late afternoon. Temperatures in the immediate wake of the front will hold steady and then begin to slowly fall throughout the evening and overnight hours. Temperatures Tuesday morning will be quite cold. Our northern counties will see overnight lows in the mid-20s, while most inland areas will see temperatures at or just below freezing, with only the immediate coastal areas remaining above freezing by Tuesday morning. On top of the cold air, we have another upper level disturbance which will move across the region on Tuesday, and it's the combination of the cold air already in place as well as this disturbance which will produce another round of winter weather across the region on Tuesday. With this event expected, a winter storm watch has been issued for all of southeast Texas. This winter storm watch is in effect beginning at 3 a.m. Tuesday morning and extends through midnight Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, which is when the precipitation is expected to end across southeast Texas. Some differences with this event from what we saw last week, it will be colder to start the event, so we will not see precipitation beginning as rain, but rather start as frozen precipitation. Our northern counties will see a mix of sleet and snow beginning early Tuesday morning, and as temperatures continue to cool, we'll see this transition to mostly snow throughout the afternoon. Our southern areas will see precipitation begin as freezing rain and sleet, with a transition to sleet and snow through the afternoon hours on Tuesday. And here's another look at that timing and expected amounts of precipitation across the region. Again, precipitation will begin across our northern counties as early as 6 a.m. for our northwestern counties and then gradually spread southward throughout the day. A secondary area of precipitation will begin to develop late morning along the immediate coastline and this will linger along the coast in our southeastern counties through Tuesday evening. And again, if you look at the right, Snow and sleet are expected across our northern counties. Areas that see mostly snow could see as much as two inches with some isolated higher totals with very light ice accumulations expected. Our middle tier of counties will see precipitation beginning as a mix of snow, sleet, and some freezing rain, transitioning to all snow by mid-afternoon. Here, ice accumulations will be slightly higher, similar to what we saw with the previous event, but also with the potential of picking up some light snow amounts up to around one inch. Further to the coast, precipitation will remain as freezing rain and sleet for longer, accounting for the higher ice potential there, with a gradual transition to snow late in the afternoon and evening as the precipitation moves out of the region. Again, we are several days out from this event. There is some uncertainty and potential for change, so we urge you to continue to monitor updated forecasts as we get closer to the event. And then taking a look at when conditions will begin to approve, all of the precipitation is expected to end late Tuesday evening into early Wednesday morning. However, with the ice and snow we could have on the ground and the still cold air, temperatures by noon on Wednesday will barely be above freezing across all of southeast Texas and will struggle to reach the upper 30s to perhaps 40 along the coast by Wednesday afternoon. This will act to limit the melting across the region and allow the snow and ice to persist through most of the day. So we could see those travel impacts continuing even into Wednesday afternoon, despite the fact that all the snow, sleet, and freezing rain will come to an end late Tuesday night. And again, here's a look at our forecast summary. The Arctic front arrives on Monday, bringing the colder air to the region. The upper level disturbance arrives on Tuesday, which will cause the precipitation across the region. We are expecting some accumulations of snow and ice across the region. Again, mostly snow to the north and more of a freezing rain and sleet ice threat across our southern counties. Again, this is southeast Texas. We are forecasting winter weather, so expect some changes to the forecast between now and Tuesday morning. 
The good news is, while the cold will linger through Wednesday, much warmer temperatures are expected Thursday and Friday, which will allow conditions to improve drastically. Again, we thank you for listening to this multimedia weather briefing and urge you to continue to follow for further updates as we move through the week. Thank you.